again can you see here uh, on the tabs the first tab is the identification of the case safety report where we can put the identifiers that means the company name and the database will generate these unique uh, numbers the worldwide unique number and the case safety report unique number uh again the identifiers is a field which we can populate so this is a free text yes and uh, we have looked at the case information that here we can select the date when the case has been received again uh, the day it has been received by the company will remain the same it can be that at times it's a partner case yes so in that case the received date might be earlier and then the date received by the company will be a later date yes is that point clear yes sir. yes sir yes sir again yes, sir. type of report you will have uh, like we discussed the spontaneous or a report from a clinical study or could be any other source like the uh, regulatory authority or the business partners yes. so all those or any other studies or surveys like we discussed yesterday right so all those can be our type of sources of report okay and then uh, is it a initial report or a follow up report or is it a combined report so it can happen while we are processing the initial we get so say we have a timeline of uh, uh, 15 calendar days to submit a report yes uh, which is say from a marketed product now we have done a uh, follow up on the second day of the received case right so we have processed the initial report and then we did a follow up with the reporter and then we got the follow up information which is significant information so in that case we can create a combined report of both the initial and the final okay is that clear yes sir yes sir Or if we have already submitted the initial report right then we can create a follow up report after that yes after i have submitted the initial report i can start another follow up report and then submit that separately yes so there can be these two options yes or if i have the time if i have 15 days of time and i have not submitted the case and i am getting a follow up within that so then i can process both of them together okay is that clear yes yes sir yes, yes. okay now again if you see here was the case okay let me increase the size i am not sure how big you can see the screen is this visible to everyone now yes sir yes sir okay so here you can see was the case confirmed medically yes or no yeah so why is yes, there a weightage for medically confirmed cases is because the authority takes that this case has been checked by a medical reviewer yes it could be a hcp that means a doctor or a nurse or a pharmacist anyone yes so if it is confirmed medically it has more weightage as compared to a case which is coming directly from a consumer because he may not understand all the terminologies he may not know all the details of the case yes yes sir right yes. so that is why we have to mark this again as uh, whether it is uh, confirmed medically or not and uh, like we discussed yesterday so the ones which are in red and which are in bold so red means they are mandatory fields and bold means they have been added in the new e2b r3 version yes yes sir yes sir okay now again they, there are some uh, you know database specific fields at times like here this database is created specifically in europe yes the abq database which is there this is created for the european uh, clientage right so there you will find that they have kept some specific you know reporters french state can you see yes yes sir and uh, again some identification of the country of the primary source country where the reaction or the event occurred again these are grayed out fields so these will be picked up based on whatever we are selecting in the reporter details 
right? The country details which are selected that will get populated here. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. Okay. And again, like I said, so this French state is specifically for European countries.